First Peter. I just burst my verse looking at it. We're in chapter 3 of First Peter, and I will pick up with verse 9 this morning. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. Not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called that ye should inherit a blessing. Uh, we've gone through, kind of alliterated it, uh, chapter 3, using the letter S as far as our alliteration, just to kind of keep me on track and keep my thoughts. And I enjoy doing that because I try to take the verse and, and uh, not, not uh, make the verse fit the word, but uh, study the word out long enough to get a word that describes the verse good. Amen. Uh, and which that helps me. That, that gives me a lot more thought into the scripture. It makes me uh, look at the scripture, examine the scripture a little bit more. And said, Preacher, why are you saying that? Well, as I read this verse, uh, the, the thought that come to mind of the word was our sanctification. And we're looking at our, our encouraging one another. Amen. Our all in all as we go through 1 Peter. And uh, in verse 9, we see our sanctification. Sanctification means to be set apart. It means to, to be set apart for a purpose. Amen. And our purpose is not rendering evil for evil. As the verse said, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing. And uh, but that's that's our flesh, amen. That that's what our flesh wants to do. If we're railed on, we want to rail back, amen. Uh, if we're evil spoken of, we want to speak evil back of them, amen. We want to we want to put them down or attack them. That that's his flesh, amen. And maybe you don't have a problem with that, but uh, uh, my flesh ain't dead. Uh, that, that's not a good thing, amen. It should be more dead than it is. We need to die to ourselves daily, amen. Uh, we need to allow God to have his way in our heart and our life, amen. Uh, the Bible says when uh, he was reviled, he reviled not again. Well, if we let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus, we would act more Christ-like when, when we're evil spoken of. We would act more Christ-like when we're railed upon, amen. And God has set us aside for this purpose, amen, to be a light in a lost and dying world, amen, in a dark world, an evil world. Uh, God has set us aside to be that light. To, the Bible says there in Matthew chapter 5, uh, I believe it's about verse 19, somewhere in there, verse 20, says, so let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Uh, it doesn't glorify God one bit. It doesn't bring anything to the cause of Christianity when we act and react like everybody else does. Amen? But when we react differently than others do, when we're railed upon, when we're evil spoken of, and the Bible tells me to beware when all men speak well of you. Amen? Uh, if nobody spoke evil of me in a while, I get to worry if I'm doing anything for God. Amen? And I'm not talking about I go around looking for persons Execution, amen. Uh, now there's there's a crowd out there that that they just believe that uh, no that uh, they, they need to make everybody so upset that they're always persecuted, amen. They're they're warned against everything. I mean they're they're. they're I mean everything they're against, amen. But they're not bringing glory and honor to God. Now I'm to be against sin. I'm, I'm to eschew evil, amen. I'm to flee from all appearance of evil. But uh, I'm to be a light and a testimony. I have to be Christ-like in my actions. And so when we see here, it says, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrary-wise. In other words, the opposite of that, knowing that ye are there unto called. Amen. That's everybody that's saved. Everybody that's born again is called unto that one thing, set apart for that one thing, to be Christ-like. Amen. Now, uh, when we use the word predestination, it's not dealing with our salvation. Amen. It's dealing with our life after salvation. Amen. Amen. And those he foreknew, he did predestine to be converted conformed to his image. Amen. And that's what he set us aside for is to be conformed to the image of Christ, to be more Christ-like every day of our life. Amen. That's the goal. That's what I'm pressing for. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Uh, the verse just prior to that, Philippians 3 and verse 13 says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Amen. That's what we're sanctified for, amen? Our sanctification has set us apart to, to leave the, the past in the past, amen? The Bible says, for you were sometimes darkness, yeah. but now are you light. Amen. Walk as children of light. 
And so we, we've got a sanctification that God has set us apart for, amen, to, to serve Him, to, to honor Him, to bring glory to His name. And so uh, knowing that ye are there unto call. I like this next part. It says that you shall that you should inherit a blessing. Amen. Uh, there's a reward for doing right. <laughs> yep. uh, there's a reward for doing right. Amen. Uh, I mean, God's gonna God's gonna bless if we if we honor the sanctification that He set us apart for. If we, we, we press towards that mark that we were quoting in Philippians there, if we do everything that we can to bring honor and glory to Him, there's reward. Amen. I, uh, I, no. Amen. Children look so much to mom and dad for praises. And so many children today don't get it. But if they get somebody that will praise them, will acknowledge them, will give them uh, respect, will uh, acknowledge them for their accomplishments, boy, it caused that child to kind of lean that direction, amen, to, to that person. Well, God, God is doing everything He can to admonish us to do right. Uh, we're to raise our children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And, and boy, what a... Brother Jeff, when you do something to please God, nobody has to tell you. That Holy Spirit that dwells inside. It is. That, that joy that wells up inside because you know that you pleased yes. Him. It may not have pleased anybody else, but when you've done what you know is right according to God's yeah. Word, yes, there's a blessing that God gives, Brother Connor, that we can't, I mean, you can't put a price tag on it. There's nothing like knowing and that's what I'm pressing for. That, that mark of hearing him say, one day, well done, yes, sir. thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Paul said it this way. He said, uh, they said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I kept the faith. And henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me that day. And not unto me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. That's those that are set aside. Yeah. That's sanctification. Our sanctification. Well, I don't count it a light thing what God set me aside for. Amen. Amen. He set me aside to serve Him. I don't miss carpet laying. <laughs> I, don't, I don't miss being on my knees laying floor covering. Uh, now, I don't mind being on my knees in prayer. Amen. It's a, they don't hurt near as bad on my knees praying as they did on my knees laying carpet. Amen. But God has set me aside for something different yes. than what I did to make a living, to, to sustain my family and all of these things. God has our sanctification here. Then let me quickly give you one more verse this morning. Verse 10. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. Our seeking. What we're seeking to do. Please him. Yeah. What we're seeking to do. I, I, I love life, amen. I do. I love it a whole lot more now that I'm saved than I did when I was lost. Uh, life, life means a whole lot more now than it did before I got saved. A life is so much more precious now than it was before salvation. And, and, I, that, and would see good days. Boy, <laughs> the good days I thought I had before salvation, they're, they dim in light of the good days God's given me after salvation, amen. amen. Even my bad days are not as, as bad as what it was before salvation, amen, on the better days. Uh, God is good. And His, His grace, His mercy, uh, boy, His long suffering to usward. Uh, God, we look at this and, and are seeking, amen, seeking to see uh, His love and, and those good days. And, and, and as we seek that, we refrain our tongue from evil and, and His lips that they will speak no guile. As we seek after Him, amen, it, there's a change, there's a transformation that takes place in our walk, amen. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another in the blood of Jesus Christ. His Son cleanseth us from all our sins. Amen. And if we'll seek after Him, if we'll seek for Him, if we'll seek to please Him, amen, our seeking in these things, it changes who we are, what we are, how we are, amen. There's a transformation that takes place. 
And so as we see this morning in the two verses we've looked at, we see our sanctification, what we're set apart part for, and then we see our seeking, what we're, uh, we're, we're looking after, what we're seeking for, what we're pressing towards. Amen. Uh, both these verses go pretty much hand in hand. But just a thought for the day. Uh, let's, let's seek Him. Amen. Let's keep in mind our sanctification, what He set us apart for. And let's keep it in, our, in, in the list of our priorities. Keep it in the forefront of what we're doing. Amen. You ever lost track? I mean, in the midst of trouble or trial or a heartache or something, uh, lost, lost your focus on what God set you apart for. Let's, let's seek it, amen. Let's, let's start seeking for it, looking back for it, getting on track, staying on track amen. with the sanctification that God's got for us. God bless you. Have a great day. Amen.